I, I, I really and truly love to do this show. I'm having so much fun. Aren't you, Bill? <laughs> Especially not what? knowing. Bill never knows from one minute to the I next. I don't know what's coming. Come I have no idea. Actually, you know, you're really on trial here. Do you know that? We've done trials on this program. Remember the on trials? We used to, how many people remember? We used to do the on trials. Yeah. I just have a feeling that I just have a feeling that one of those people out there today are going to st is going to start asking some questions. So you better be ready. You never know what they're going to come totally up. I'm totally set. Yeah. Okay. I've never been more ready for a show in my life. Now so I, lay it on me. <laughs> All right. Our next guest for you today, Bill, is a beautiful young lady. Good. Someone that you enjoy very much. You've had on this show before. Yeah. And I remember you saying about her that she's going to be a superstar, and I agree. It's she's not possible that this is... Yes. The girl who started in Pretty Baby, oh. Gypsy, Just You and Me, oh. Asish, Brooke oh, Shields. Brooke. Brooke. Oh. How are you? How are you? Fine. We need a lava... Oh, but Leslie has it for you. Brooke, you certainly are growing up. <laughs> Not fast enough for me, though. No, you're really getting tall. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, I'm 5'9 now. Almost. Well, I'm yeah. only 6'1, Brooke. So oh. you know, hold it down, about 5'9. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming. Oh, well, I'm really glad to be here. Thank you. Yes, um, excuse me. This is, I have to be very formal about this. No, tell you don't. me. Well, <laughs> tell me, do you remember your first girlfriend? Yes, I do. Norma Levering. Really? What was she like? She was a lot like you. <laughs> she was, uh, well, she was in ninth grade. Really? Which is pretty good, because I was in fifth at the time. <laughs> I liked older women. Uh, she, um, she was a good roller skater, and she liked, uh, she, she had, was an excellent first baseman, and could really hit the softball. Really? And yeah, we were both in ninth grade together. It was my very first girlfriend, my very first date. She turned out to be a uh, highly skilled mathematician, She's now married to a doctor, and they have three children. I recently saw her at the high school reunion. Oh, really? But no hanky-panky. None? None. Oh. <laughs> well, the doc you... was there. The doc was there? Yeah, he was there. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, <laughs> you want to ask all the questions. If, if, if possible, if possible, I never want to totally grow up. If possible. But I guess, um, you know, I, I mean, I've I got to give you a serious answer. I guess I, I would like to be... Uh, make a significant contri big contribution in show business, in different areas of show business. Because that's my job. I, I have a job in show business now. Well, I think you've already Just like made... you. Yeah, it's a big contribution already. Thank you. <laughs> um, how did you deal with puberty and sex? <laughs> <laughs> See, I usually have to answer all these questions. I know that. I'm glad... It's your turn. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me. I would say, uh, no, first, no one ever told me anything about it. So you had to learn it all yourself. I, it was all learned myself. I used to think, when I, when I figured out what sex was, I thought that, that they did it in the bathroom. It wasn't until It I, seems connected. Yeah, it does seem connected. But <laughs> then when I found out the bed was involved, then I was really shocked. For were you scared? You know, I was never scared. You were never scared. Of, I was never scared of sex. How did you find out sex. these things? Uh, just from talking, you know, talking walking to school to with friends. the guys, older guys, stuff like that. Puberty, I, I did okay with puberty. I never, um, my voice still hasn't totally changed. I'm still <laughs> waiting for that. Uh, I, I never had too many pimples. And, uh, you know, hair started to grow places. I thought, ah, oh, well, there's got to be a reason for it. I didn't have, honestly, I did not have much trouble, oh, much trouble with it. How would you deal with the girls? <clears throat> Very skillfully, right from the start. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I, I think I, I was, uh, I, I was always uh, pretty aggressive in wanting to have girlfriends and, and, and going out on dates. The first date I ever had, I, I, I took a, a normal levering out on my bicycle, you know? <laughs> and I, the, the thing that always worried me was, was the older guys. Like when you were in ninth grade, mm -hmm. the guys in 11th grade who had cars, and you're still on your bicycle with her and the handlebars, and you see them going off with their cars with the top down. But I always really liked women, and even when they were girls. I liked them. When you were a kid, you liked them? Yeah, almost all. Oh, when I was a little guy, when I was like from age 6 until about age 12, I was president of the Girl Haters Club. You know, the that was when haters. the guys would fool around with the girls at all. We wouldn't let them play any of the games or anything like that. But then after age 12, something miraculously happened. I think it had something to do with Elvis Presley. I'm not sure, but it all came together at the same time. So you didn't have any troubles with it or anything? No. You're a very good interviewer. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Ooh, I love okay, this. next. Um, were you ever afraid of anything when you were younger? I was always afraid of going to, in the, being in the war and getting killed. 
from the, as long as I can remember, seeing, because of seeing newsreels when I was a little kid, I was afraid of that. And uh, I, w I think I was afraid that I would not be able to stop eating one day. <laughs> I would just continue <laughs> eating and, blend and, you know, and float up like a balloon in the Macy's Parade and float off you know, down to South America. Yeah, that's two crazy answers, but they're both sort of true. I like eating, too. Eating's good. We all enjoy it. I love eating. Were you Next, ever give me another embarrassed question? as a kid? Was or I ever in, embarrassed? Say you could say in school or anywhere. Or well, yeah, I mean, I... I walked, I walked into an auditorium of 300 people once with my fly down on stage oh. when I was 16 years old. 16. Does that count as embarrassment? <laughs> yeah. Well, were you embarrassed? I mean, oh God. Was I embarrassed? I, my All skin right. is still yeah. a little more red because of that day. Yeah, that actually happened to me. How okay. did you find out it was down? How did yeah. I find out it was yeah. down? I think laughing, pointing, and general ridicule <laughs> from the, everyone in the audience pretty much gave me the message. That plus the fact that the air conditioning was on and... That, oh God! Okay. It was also the front of my shirt was hanging out too. It was the colossal one. It wasn't just the little one. It's down a little bit. It was. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Bill, we're gonna have to uh, break away for a commercial. I'm sorry to uh, say it, but uh, we have another beautiful surprise okay. for you later. And before we break the commercial, I'd like to say that the last time that I saw you, uh, Brooke, you, you were that wasn't long ago, really, and you were still very she's little, good. very young. You have turned into a gorgeous-looking girl. Uh, you're a wonderful interviewer too. If you ever yes. want to do it, you, you have a natural ability at it. Really? Thanks. Okay. Thank Don't you. leave, right? You'll stay. Stay with us. I can stay a little while. Okay.